you look at statistics, um, childhood obesity has doubled over the past 30 years. We felt in order to address it that it needed to be addressed holistically and that it takes this whole community, a la Healthy Futures. Healthy Futures is a three-year, $3 million commitment to childhood wellness. You have eat right, get fit, and stay well. We have 25 schools. Of the 25, you have five schools that we will call the core schools. And those core schools have all three components. You are what you eat. We were involved in the food program that is the kind where you get the plastic boxes and you know they get heated up. That became the impetus to try to change the direction of what we were doing. So now we have a program that specifically is working with a group of students, fourth graders, to see if this is going to, to have an impact on their lives. So they're following these young people for three years. They're not only eating lunch, they are actually uh, dining. At school lunch we have like hot dogs or tater tops, but at vet tree we'll have like healthy fish or salads. Yes. We make food from scratch. Yes, we have a great menu, but we serve it family style. We get everybody involved. We teach them interaction skills. We teach them about food. We teach them everything. And I think that's uh, a really special part of our foundation. Every Tuesday for the fourth grade, Green and Partner would come and we would try new things. We tried mint. Most of our children think it comes from ShopRite or the market for the, this truck to pull up here with the vegetables and showing them exactly where it's coming from and so on is it's really an awesome experience. It's all about understanding how it affects you when you eat it um, and that's how you can start learning that there is a relationship between healthy eating and healthy living. Our bodies are designed to move and what we don't use we lose and uh, our role is to inspire uh, children to be more active. But also, students, are, students who exercise or are engaged in some type of sport show better test scores. But we always start it with a warm-up, which involves running, um, push-ups, some sit-ups, uh, and then the core part of that program uh, involves cardiovascular exercises, uh, strength training, some balance, some reaction. When I'm tired, exercising helps me stay on my game. Looking up, sending it across, Lakers on the When the Philadelphia Union came to visit, it was pretty fun because we got to see a professional soccer player. The Union has been a fantastic partner. They bring their equipment, there's this huge um, soccer field. And children, when they see this, they just go, wow trying to get them outside their houses and start playing video games and computers and, and I'm sure it will make a, a big difference for the kids for their future. A lot of their parents don't find a need to visit the doctor unless the children are sick. When I am at their schools every week, we are talking about our yearly visit to the physician, our twice a year visit to the dentist to make sure we're staying healthy and we're staying well. The three-prong approach of the Healthy Futures program is really important in helping the whole child. We talk about fit essentials. What did you, what did you do this week in gym class? And it's amazing to hear the kids say they tried the roasted broccoli and it was delicious. If they're not healthy and not coming to school, they're not learning. What I love about the program is how the children respond and react to it. Them embracing it and making it a part of who they are. Because if the bottom line is children being healthy, then we gotta find a way to do that.